Welcome to another creating a 5M framework. This time we're going to be working in MP dash spawn. So this is going to be your spawn uh, selection menu. So whenever you create a character, you're going to have to spawn somewhere. And this is going to basically be telling you what you could pick. So we made an MP spawn folder inside. We're going to start off with just a simple. Uh, I like to have another folder for this. I'm going to do a client folder in here. And in this client folder, we're going to have cl underscore main dot Lua. I just like naming, uh, or you know what? Let's do, let's just name it even better. CL underscore spawn. Uh, just make it a lot simpler, a lot easier to read. Uh, if you put main, that's perfectly fine. Um, I just like doing spawn or something that tells you what it actually is. Sure, the client, sure, the resource might tell you, uh, but this tells you almost exactly what's in it when you click on it. So a couple things we're going to do here. Uh, we don't need any MP whatever in here right now. So we're just going to do a few things. We're going to add a couple spaces just to in case we need to add an MP uh, export later. That will be perfectly fine. Um, first thing we're going to do, though, is register net event. And in here, we're going to do MP dash spawn colon open menu and we're doing the same thing with add event handler just like so we're gonna add a comma and then function right after just end this right here so in here we're gonna be opening the menu um, and what we want to do is set a time cycle Uh, and the time cycle modifier we're going to be using is going to be HUD underscore def underscore blur, uh, which will end up blurring out uh, the background. Um, and then we're going to do a set NUI message, uh, which is going to basically talk to your JavaScript and HTML. And what action we're going to put this as is going to equal a display so this is going to be a display action we want this to display and we're going to set set and ui oops and i focus uh to true how much true and this is just making sure the menu is open so so just like that make sure when menu is open when it's called Next, we're going to do a local spawns. Um, in here, we're going to add a open bracket, uh, the squiggly open bracket, because we're going to have multiple spawns and we're going to name them. So first things first, uh, we're going to name this one. We're going to have airport spawn. So airport spawn, I'm just going to copy and paste these vectors in. Uh, you could type it in. It's just vector and uh, the X, Y, and Z. You can have whatever spawn. If you want to get X, Y, and Z, you can download one of these local resources that will tell you when you go into game. Um, eventually, that will be in the admin commands, but for right now, we're going to just be using these. Make sure you add a comma afterwards because we're going to add them more in here. Uh, we're going to have a bus, which is going to be like the bus depot. Uh, it's sort of near MRPD. Uh, that vector is a remember, it's a vector three because vector three is X, Y, and Z. After bus, we're going to have pink uh uh which is just the pink cage uh i'm just making it uh, a lot less so we don't have to call as much uh and then we're gonna have harmony uh harmony repair shop here remember you guys don't have to have these exact ones um uh, but these are the ones that we're gonna have and then we're gonna have dream which is uh the dream valley hotel um on the west side of the city uh last one for the last one you don't need a comma so don't put a comma it's that simple next we're gonna do a register nui all caps all back uh and in this callback what we're looking for is spawn uh, that's gonna be a function and then the function is gonna grab data so we're gonna grab the data from this callback of spawn uh, the data we're going to call back, we're going to get a local spawn local spawn name, which is going to equal data.location. 
Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a few prints in here. So we're going to print out spawn name. Uh, we're going to add a comment to delete it later. And then we will do local spawn location equals spawns and then spawn name. So what this is going to do is it's going to grab uh, your data dot location, which is the data lot location is actually going to be a location named just like this. And it's going to, so it's going to print this first, make sure we have this correct. And then your local spawn location is going to grab spawns and then your spawn name, which is going to be one of these from the data. Uh, and same thing here. Uh, we're just going to print this out. Um, print just like this and then add the delete later comment so we can see. And what we're going to do now is a function. So, uh, well, we're going to add this function later on, but camera, we're going to call for camera position. And then this is going to be spawn location dot X and same thing dot Y and then dot Z. So Y Z just like so. And then it's ended. Okay, next we're gonna have the camera position. Now, bear with me because this might take a little bit, but it's gonna be a function of, who would have guessed, camera position. And here we're gonna grab X, Y, and Z. And let's just end that off right there. So first thing we're gonna do is a local POS position equals X, uh, X, whoops, X equals X, comma Y, equals y and comma z equals z after this we're going to do a set entity chords which is the git player ped so we're grabbing your player ped chords so you're going to set these entity chords to this position dot x position dot y and position dot oops dot z so we're gonna grab it, set it to uh, the position. And then we're gonna do a do screen fade in. And we're gonna set this to 500. Set time cycle modifier here. Uh, as it was blurred, we're just gonna set this now back to default. So whenever you spawn, it's gonna be defaulted. You won't have that blur. And then we are gonna set an NUI focus right here. Uh, change these two trues to false and two. then we're going to do a weight of 500 and now we're going to start doing the cam so local cam cam 2 let's do equals create cam with params so the param we're going to use is default under for script did underscore camera um, and we can look in the 5m natives i'll show you this right now 5m natives so we're going to go in here and create cam with params here so you'll see we're going to get a position x y z uh and then rotation of X, Y, and Z, FOV, active, and then rotation order. I'm just gonna copy this rest in. Uh, so we're gonna add a comma here, and then your X, Y, Z, rotation 300, 0, 0, 100, 0, uh, false zero. And we got one too many of those. Now we do this a couple times here, and I'll show you why. And the reason why we called this cam two is because it's not gonna be technically our first cam. Uh, but what we're going to do is now we're going to point cam at cord. And what we're going to call this is cam underscore two. So we're calling that. We're going to point this camera at the position dot x, position dot y, and position dot z. But with the z value, we're going to do plus 200, so it's above. 
Uh, you could do a plus more if you wanted. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then we're going to do set cam active with interp. Uh, this is going to be cam, oh, cam 2. And then we're going to do cam. So that's going to be the first cam. 900 true and true. So let's take a look at this one more time here. So set cam active with interp. So what it's doing is cam 2 and cam from duration and then ease in location and uh, ease rotation. So we're setting these to true so it's a nice, uh, it goes in smoothly basically. We add the duration of 900 and we're going from cam 2 which is above to cam 1 which is going to be your cam basically. So that's, that's why. Uh, we're going to add another weight in here and we're going to do the same thing. It's going to be 900 uh, to this value. So 900 with this value. Uh, same reason why we do do screen fade in here. We add the 500 weight as well as the 500 uh, fade in time. So after the weight, we're going to have a local oops, local cam. So why we're just calling this local cam, it's going to be the same thing here. Uh, it's going to be the same one as the other. Uh, so create cam with params default. Uh, this time we're actually just grabbing the position, position X, Y, and Z. Z is just going to be plus 200 here. Uh, other than that, 300, 100, false zero is all the same. And once again, we're going to point the cam at the cords. So point cam at the cords. We're going to grab cam here, position X, Y, and Z. But instead of plus 200, we're just going to do plus 2, which is going to be slightly above your player, and then it's going to fade into your player. So uh, now we need to do the set cam to interp here as well. So this is going to work the opposite way. This is just going to be cam, and then this is going to go to cam 2 with a 3,700 weight with true true. Um, then we're going to add another weight here with 3,700. And... Now we could add a zoom out front end sound. Uh, this is completely optional. So what we're what we could do is do a play sound uh, <coughs> front end, which is just this, and it has a list of sounds here: sound ID, audio name. Uh, if you want to, you could use the zoom out sound and so on. I I'm not gonna use it. I I don't feel the need to add a add a sound for loading into your character. So I'm not gonna use it at all. Uh, instead, what we're gonna do is render script cams. And then this is gonna be false, true, 500, true, true. So let me just show you in the 500 natives one more time because it's probably easier for me showing you this. So what we're doing is we're setting rendered false ease into true, uh, the ease time as a 500. And then, uh, believe P3 and P4, what are these actually? Oh, we want the script rendering, blah, blah, blah. Actually, I don't know what P3 and P4 are. Uh, they're Boolean, so true, false. Uh, we could test this. We could uh, test with false. Test with back to false so we'll just add that note uh just to see just to make sure what it does there's not really documentation on that uh interesting uh and then we're gonna we're gonna do a freeze here so we're freezing the entity position and get player ped so we're freezing your position here or no 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 oops Let's go into the natives, just make sure this is correct. So freeze entity position, toggle, freeze or unfreeze. Which is true or false. So we're unfreezing your position. Are we freezing it? Where are we freezing this at? Oh, I know I know why we're freezing it. We're freezing it uh for the spawn menu. We're not we're unfreezing it when you spawn in. Uh uh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Now we're gonna do another do screen fade in, or instead of in, it's gonna be fade out. So just change this in to out. Uh, same thing with 500. We're gonna add a weight of 
500 right here then. And then we're gonna add another two screen fade in. Uh, instead of 500 though, it's gonna be a thousand. And then we're gonna do a set cam active, active, cam comma false, and set, or not set, uh, destroy cam, cam and true. So that's just uh, setting this camera, the first camera to not be active and then it also destroys that camera and now we could do a display HUD true and display radar of true and just like that that is gonna be our client side of spawn uh so i'm trying to get i'm i think i'm gonna try to get three videos a week on this done just so we can create the spawn menu as quickly as possible remember to leave a like comment hop in the discord uh any server boosters will get stuff first um within a couple of days after before the release but if you have any questions just leave it in the comments i'll answer the comments i'll answer discord feel free